Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder and we're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of Space Exploration Factorio. So, as you guys can see from the last episode, we didn't make any more further advancements, but we know what the plan is going forward. And that is to kind of like begin to repair, repair, fix up this area here so that the power generation isn't just like all bundled up here. Now, the mining of the coal here is okay for a little while, like we can leave that, that's, that's totally fine by me. Um, and the iron and such is fine for now. We're going to want to expand into another iron patch at some point, but that's all the way down here. Um, yeah, there's just, that's only 91k. So, yeah, this is about whew, this is seven times more, so we're going to have to get in there. We're going to want to do some core mining at some point. Um, but yeah, so we also want to get some radars going if we can do that at some point. So we can see what's in the rest of our map. Um, but right now... Let's work on getting this uh, section here figured out. Now, there's a nice coal patch up top here uh, that we might tap into just to kind of move our electricity production away from this. Um, and then we'll bring our fuel sources down here for this stuff. Um, so rather than stopping this whole production situation, let's go ahead and recreate a coal, a coal production here. Um, so let's go eliminate a couple of these. We don't need all of that. It's more than we need. And see how that goes. And then um, and we also downloaded a few extra mods, such as the lighted poles mod. Um, they require lamps, which we just can't even make yet. Oops. Um, so that's going to be one of the next researches we do um, when we finally get there. But we're not there. We also did nanobots. So this will help us tear down forests and stuff. That's for the main reason why I use nanobots, deconstructing of um, forests. Um, and that was another map, another thing we needed. Um, scans nearby sectors actively reveals an area around us, so we kind of want that at some point. And then medium electric poles are made nice because we can go the extra distance, but we need green science, which we're not making it. So let's let's go ahead and make the nanobots first, and then after that we'll follow up with the AAI industry radar system here. Um, and a reverse factory, hmm, not really needed. So we'll pull the location can use the jump over building from cross water. Eh, that's unnecessary. All right, so. Let's um, let's now go up to the north here and clear our path down. We'll get rid of some rocks on the way over. And then let's work on building. Let's grab some let's grab some plates while we're at it. Have a feeling we're gonna need some plates. Because uh, we're gonna need to build electric miners. And stone bricks, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna need those as well. Stone bricks. A uh, long reach on, that's another mod that I have, so that way we can uh, kind of skip over, <laughs> you know, all of that, because it's it sucks having to do that. All right, so we don't need to build another fuel processor, but we'll, we'll at least get that done. Um, and also, you guys have noticed that I'm using my stone bricks to put down to like increase my walking speed on my base. I'm realizing that's kind of a waste. So until we are making an excess amount of stone bricks, we won't do that. So maybe we'll just put down stone pathways. It's not the most efficient use of our stone, but that's if we really need to increase our speed. Um, yeah, we definitely want to clear out all these rocks at some point. Um, especially if the nanobots may be able to help us, but let's wait till those miners get finished being built because uh, then we can put the miners down and immediately start uh, getting that coal production going again and then we don't have to worry about waiting very long to keep the power situation uh, ongoing so do this clear out a couple more wood things just a few more all right now we have a pathway right here um, that's that's pretty clear all right so let's go ahead and put our mining drills down um, I'm not too specific that it has to be like you know oh, they are right on top of each other you know like it doesn't matter to me um, but I definitely like this setup because it's efficient and tight and um, we can get things moving relatively quickly this way. All right, so then that's going to go right into a um, conversion sac uh, factory here. So we might need more than one, so we're going to go build another one, actually. 
um, at some point. We may not necessarily need to be updating into them that quickly, but, um, you know, let's just grab it just in case, and we'll put one on the other side as well. We're also going to need a few of these um, out of iron plates already. See, this is the downfall with this. Uh, I didn't grab enough. Let's get rid of these. I hate having to clean up my, my areas. It's like one of my least favorite things. All right, we are not producing enough iron. Not fast enough for the use that we we need it for, are we? Just barely. Um, I think we got to stop stealing from this, and that would help. Yeah, like this is a little bit slow for this guy. Really, it's mainly because this is not out. This is you know the slow bottleneck here. Um, we, don't, we don't have enough plates going this way. So yeah, we're, we're definitely not making enough plates. Um, and, and we're going to have to expand that at some point. Uh, and that's fine. We could totally do that. I think the things like 16 normally was the ratio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's 10. So we could easily put a total of 16 there um, or more to help keep a, a full belt loaded. Um, and right now we don't have a full belt loaded because we're splitting it two times. So... Um, so let's let's go back up now. Let's get what did I say we needed? A few more inserters. I don't know how many we're actually going to need here. One may two may be enough uh, to do one side, and then the other side, and then we'll need one to pull out stuff and lay it onto a conveyor belt too. Um, and then we need power poles, just like that. And then there's a little trick here, just click and hold, and it'll bring down your poles evenly spaced out. And now that should be producing. And it needs to be tossed onto a belt. And that belt will have returned to the middle here. Because it will happen from the other side too. And then it will come straight down. I are not going to have enough belts, but that's okay. And then that will be our power source. Uh, our power source will be uh, moved off to the side. <laughs> Here, we'll just have it pretty much right up here because we don't need it to be immediate here. So let's go ahead and put a splitter. And then it'll go there. And then we don't have any on us right now, right? We just, yeah, we don't. So we'll just steal one for now. Doesn't need to be. Actually, just take it off now because there's enough time for us to do this. Uh, where you are there you are all right so that means we need a couple of inserters which we do and then uh, where are we here we, I don't know nope, right there um, something to pull off of the line and put into the power system get it jump started boom And then that should be good. We're gonna need to make a few more belts. Well, we'll just make a few more belts that we need right here. Just so we can go a few more down. And put our second burner down. I like these burners because they burn the fuel and they don't require water. That was an old situation from the previous uh, isn't the case anymore all right so we're producing enough power uh, to handle all of that I don't know that we'll need to refine more but we are gonna definitely do that um, let's go ahead and clear this out we don't need this anymore this whole thing is now obsolete so we are gonna have plenty of fuel uh, we're gonna have to bring our fuel 
processes down. This is where the nanobots come in handy, the deconstructing part. Takes a little bit of time, but we got lots of this fuel to put to use. So we'll probably do what we did before, put a little buffer box in so that there's always a little bit of fuel that we can just grab a quick handle on. fully taken care of all right you're back up and running let's get a few more belts on us stack of 34 should be enough with what we got going here and then this needs to be brought over and down I don't know that this is the most efficient way we're just kind of like lining it up again um, all right, so we got enough of that going for us. Um, and yeah, we do have like a little buffer chest that we could put here. Um, just do that. So that way we have a little bit of a buffer zone. We only need like two stacks in there at any one given moment. And we'll just go ahead and fill it with two stacks so it doesn't keep stealing from it. That way, everything is nice and peachy in here. Cool. We're looking good. And we should have another one of those burners on us now. Yes, we do. And you can be dropping into there. Just like that. Good, so now we have double the output of that stuff. Um, it looks like these six seem to be handling it. I don't know that this is the exact ratio. We downloaded a mod that should help us with those, but I haven't looked at all the mod notes yet um, for all the mods I've downloaded and how to use them appropriately. So I don't know if these are the right ratios for things, and that's totally fine. We don't need it to be perfect ratios. Um, we're also going to take all of this fuel now that we have it all. And we're going to load it into these things fully. Um, okay. That way, we don't have any more backups there. And then the stone can now be automated doesn't need to be in this weird uh, limbo anymore so let's get the stone situation figured out we should have a couple we have one mining drill um, and that's fine uh, we don't want to get any iron there we go and we'll have it put right into a stone thing and we'll go ahead and put some coal in there for now but let's go ahead and drop our coal off in this refinery situation up here you'll see that I'm extremely lazy all right and then same thing with all of this we really don't need all of this on us Stone, same thing. We don't need all that stone on us. This is insane. It is what it is. Maybe we can... So, one of the things I've learned is that in order to expand this, to make it put down stone faster or in a larger area, it also increases the game speed. So, that makes me a little bit faster. I guess it makes even faster, faster. I'll just put down some stone. I'm tired of having it in my inventory. I'm not looking for the prettiest base here. I'm just trying to make it useful to me. Alright, good. Now we're running around a little bit faster in this area. No more stone on us. Alright. And that's probably not fast enough, this minor drill. 
to, to keep this going, but it's going to be fast enough for our purposes um, of just needing a little bit of stone here and there. So that's going to be all we really need. And we'll go ahead and let's leave four stacks. I feel like that's plenty. All right. So we are pretty much golden here. Uh oh, we are getting stone. Where are we getting stone from? You, my friend. Dang. This is why we need filter inserters. And you guys can't behave as such. Right? No. You can't. So we're going to have to swap you out. You're creating a, a problem. Even if it's only occasional, you're creating a problem. All right. What do stone tablets do? Do they make text plates? Is that what they do? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure out what those do at some point. All right. So that drill was an issue. Um, that means we either have to place it down differently. Let's go ahead and remove these two. Still going to give us stone. And yeah, we're not going to be able to get around it. It's giving us stone regardless. And we're not going to be able to get rid of all of that stone with any ease. Um, so yeah, we're kind of just screwed. So why we need to get to a bigger iron um, situation here. Um, because we just we, this this is not going to work for us long term. There's just too many issues with um, the iron output not being enough. And I could go here. That's better than nothing. Just want to get use of that thing, you know. All right. So at least that's working. Nothing here is getting anything it doesn't need. And our nanobots are done. That's great. All right. So you unleash powerful little knobs to help you get up and running, which is great. But we're not doing that yet. We need a fast inserter. No, we need a filter inserter. Where's the filter? So we need to get to there. And that's where green science is needed. So that's important. But let's do this first. And then we'll do filter inserters. Because then I can, like, have it output. And then I can grab it off the line and say only grab stone and it'll pull stone off and it'll place it in another conveyor belt which can then bring it over to here and that can make life a little easier for us. All right, so it seems that we're doing okay. We have plenty of iron plates going on for our situation here. We could probably increase our output now of, green, of red science. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we need, do we have, this is a, we don't have a way to do red uh, science yet in a way that doesn't include automatically sends out pre-programmed nanobots based on the ammo type as long as the nano emitter is the currently selected weapon nanobots do not work in existing logistic networks all right so we can create a nanobot maker construction and termite bots choice trees and range does not return items okay that's kind of cool revives entity ghosts in range using items in your also repairs damage to entities okay so this is the one that we want here so it could tear down trees for us so what do they take stone yeah sure we'll make a handful of those yeah that's fine Cool. And it uses them up. But it's great. Clearing things for us. Alright. I think it's good enough. You don't need to keep going. How do I get you to stop? 
Cool. Yeah, you don't do stones, but that's okay. Stone situation is a little annoying because I have to hold on to these things a little bit, but it is what it is. The copper situation is plenty here, so we just want to make it so that we can get actually get to all of our copper. All right, so we are good here. Oh, there's some leftover stuff on the ground here. We're probably going to need uh, a splitter here just so we can have some of it go to there. But we need more of these. And then an inserter. There we're good. Okay. All right, so now all of that is automated as much as possible. We are well into our uh, fully automation now. Everything is being done. I just wish we had a science. Where can we, can we build a science? No, we can't. We can't build a science thing yet. So that's, that's important. How do we get to building electric labs? Okay. So how do we get there? Oh, we're, we're really close. We need to build glass processing. All right, maybe that comes next. I might not download this other um, mod that allows me to do a research queue, so I don't have to keep on coming after the science has been, you know, figured out. You know, I don't have to keep on coming back and waiting and waiting and waiting and speeding up time. Can I make iron gears? Yeah, why, why can't I make red signs right in my inventory? I guess you just can't, yeah, can't be crafted by hand. Huh. All right, well, that's okay. We can at least start making more science. So let's make another assembly machine because we're going to need to do that. We're also going to need to make a red inserter. Um, we actually don't need another science uh, building. What we need is the, the ability to input more science in here at a time because it's just a little slow. Actually, no. Yeah, we do need a science machine. Uh, we're creating plenty of science fast enough. It seems to be keeping up with the rate. But it's whatever. We're going to need to make more red science at some point, so let's go ahead and do that. And set you up, and you'll do red science. Actually, you'll do green science. You need transport belts and inserters. So that's not that hard. We're already making transport belts. Making inserters. Maybe we ought to auto assembly that actually. Electric motors, which we are not making, so we need to make electric motors first. Gear, copper cables, and iron plates. We need to make copper plates. We're already making enough gears to keep up with this demand. So we'll go ahead and do a splitter on the gears section. And then Copper cables, we'll have to have them be made. Um, I hate getting dragged by the... So we have half of it and then a fourth going this way, so that seems to be plenty. So that means we could take this half. drop it over here and pull it up because we're going to want to take these and turn them into where are you? I'll take you out real quick. We're not ready for that just yet. Turn these into Jesus, get pulled around. Um coils copper coils, whatever you want to call them. And then these copper coils are going to be implanted on a belt, which won't be the same belt as that one. We'll at least move it out of the way. We'll put them on the same belt, actually. Um, just like that. 
Does it put it on the far side though? I think it does. Yeah, it always puts them on the far side, so that's not gonna work. Damn. If it always puts it on the far side, then we need to have it come in from the left side. So can we do that here? Is it tight enough? Well, I could if I just move this up one. I think this will ought to do it. Because then we can do all this. We can place this on the far side. So place these, where are you? On the far side. And then we have these come in from the left side. What the hell? Say auto save function just got kicked on. All right, so now it's going to load on the left, and then we can immediately have it place on the right side which is nice so that way we have the two things that we need to start making there except for the iron plates which we will have to steal more iron plates from so we already have a splitter going here doing that I don't think that we should maybe we can because that's already getting half of a half so we could steal again from that um, we just got to be careful here how we do this hmm. do it like this then we can go under and over. Okay, we're finished with that. Now let's go get the other thing we said we needed. We need this in order to get to the automated science buildings. So we'll have to do that next. At least it only takes blue. All right, and while can we build a radar system? I really want to build one. Can we do it like real quickly? Stone bricks. Oh, yeah, we could totally do that. That way we can get the radar system down and immediately start looking for things. All right, and then, so to make these, we have everything we need coming up now, so we can easily do that. So we'll start building that up here. All right, radar system, where are you? You're done, let's put you down somewhere, it doesn't matter where, right there is fine, okay. So now, you'll at least expand my map view here a little bit, and we'll see what we're dealing with when it comes to finding other sources, because if I can find a better iron ore thing than this one, because this one's near water by cliffs and all that stuff, then if it's out here, we'll go out and grab it. A lot better. Okay, so now we have all of our plates and stuff coming up this way, so we don't need to go any further here other than building another one of these, because then that's where we're going to build the... Yeah, so that's where we're going to build that thing. Uh, and we'll do it just like that. And we'll have you bring in from there and bring in from there. And we'll have you go up to there and this to here. And you're going to build that. And boom, now we're automating that as well. So I am not. You're going to have a huge spaghetti factory, that's for sure. Because I am not a very efficient person when it comes to this. Um, we might add another inserter here just because to speed that rate up and then now since we're making those we could spit out from here onto a new conveyor belt the finished electrical things and then the electrical engines need to be used to turn to make these guys uh, and then we need to make burner inserters oh my goodness how did I not think about that part burners and need single cylinder en engines and iron sticks okay so that's not a problem we could just steal right from here single cylinder engines right onto a belt and then iron sticks those are easy to make we can just pull them off of one of these lines um, how much iron plates do you need uh, we have a lot of iron plates being taken off of this one, so I think we can afford to steal a couple more off of that. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll make iron sticks off of this one. 
I don't think that'll be too bad. Just like that. And you can make your little iron stick thingy. Yeah, you'll be fine. And then... Burner inserters. Where do you got? Burner inserters need a, uh, this, so these two need to marry up. We are not anywhere close to each other. This is one of the one to be going to be a major problem um, going forward. Is how badly like we're already in the way of our uh, situation here. So let's just prepare for that <laughs> right now. Um, all right, so then we are going to pull out of here. Um, and we are going to place onto a conveyor belt that goes this way and goes underground and comes out the other side and goes underground and comes out the other side. That way there is no confusion about that. And then these two can meet up and they can share a belt. Just like that. Because then that's what's needed to make burner inserters. And then we'll build another one of these guys. Uh, what do we need? More iron plates. Okay, we'll go steal a stack of those. Make another one of those. As you can see here, this is a ongoing process all the time. Goodness. And we can steal from you. Oh, the other way around. And we can put another thing like that. And boom. We are now making burner inserters and then burner inserters plus an electrical thing make a uh, electric inserter. It doesn't make any sense why you need a thing that burns fuel inside a thing that uses electricity all at the same time that then is supplied with electricity. It doesn't make any sense to me but thanks space exploration for making things more complicated but that's what we asked for. Um, Alright so now we have burner inserters which will come right out of here and back into here and we'll have you go over here and you're placing on the far side so uh, we'll have to turn you downwards and we'll have to do something special here uh, you could do it this way yeah, that works. We do it this way. That way the burner inserters meet on the same side. Jeez, what am I doing? Just like this. And then the burner inserters land over here. And now, I probably didn't do this right again. I need, I need more iron again. Oh, goodness, I am very inefficient with this game. That is 100% sure. Yeah, look, look at this. Now I didn't don't have enough space. Mother fudger. I need to like bring it up a little bit. All right, can we do it now? Yeah, that'll work. Electric inserter. Power pole, and now you can make electric concerners. Jesus. And now we need an electric concerner, ironically enough, uh, to pull out and place into a chest. And all of that was so I could do something else, wasn't it? All of that was so I can make green science. Yep. <laughs> I am so freaking stupid. This is the part that I, I, I know that I am basically not built for this. All right, so now we have these here coming out. And we are pulling out of here now, too. Oh, gosh, let's get a few of those. Uh, to 
place on a belt. Just like that. Also, we can make green science. Oh, goodness. What a travesty this game can be sometimes. It really can be. Of, like, complete waste of time and resources. Also, I can bring down green science making into this area. Ugh. And this is nowhere near going to be enough, you know, like, production for what we're going to be doing in the future. This is literally, like, the fastest setup that we can do just to get through the basic um, science uh, levels here. Oh, goodness. All right, so where do we want to build this thing? I guess right here is as good as any. Make green science, buddy. That's what we need you to do. Just like that. I'm going to have you pull out green science and put you on a belt. That you can be brought then over to here. Uh, I need some belts. You could then pull from and give me green science. All right, we are officially. We are officially. Let's get this. So uh, it's only making like one insert a stack at a time. Copper belts. That seems to be a limiting factor. That's for sure. We're not pulling out the copper belts fast enough. So we need a fast... Uh, we definitely need to increase that. So a fast one would help pulling that out. <clears throat> that would help a lot. I need space to do that, though. I can't do another inserter removal from here. That's our bottleneck. Our bottleneck's like leading back to here. Um, how do we get more out of here so we could share these two? I need another inserter to come off. So the question comes down to how do I get the iron gears? I didn't need to do what I did before. I don't know what the hell I was doing. It's already coming out this side. <sighs> this is, I'm not thinking. I'm just straight up not thinking. This is fine. <laughs> I'm just wasting my time. All right, so now we're pulling out fast enough, it seems like. And we're putting in fast enough. Let's just do another one just to be safe. That way there's no... There's no question <clears throat> whether or not that's keeping up. Same thing with you. We'll just add another one. All right, I, I think we're we're keeping up now. We're making enough burner inserters. We don't need them on a in a buffer zone. We have enough iron sticks being made, so we're clear there. This is now outputting better than it was before. It would be better if we had another burner. Eh, can we do another one? I don't know that we can. We might be able to. Just like this. Let's just see. We need more copper. And we need more copper. And then we need power. Yeah, yeah, we can. Sweet. We're doing it. And we're doing it faster. Now I don't know if that's I'm pretty I'm producing for more, but am I pulling out fast enough? Is the question question here? Um, there we go. So we could pull out another 
There we go. Okay. So that is the fastest I can make that so that there's less of a bottleneck going on there. So this is providing enough as quickly as possible. It would help if we had faster inserters, that's for sure. But we don't. Um, so we are working on that next, actually. We will be after this one because after this, then we could do modules. We could make production faster altogether. And then this is just red science, so we'll do that one next. And then, yeah. And then we could do lights, and then we could have lighted poles, all that. Cool beans, my friends. And we are, we are now backed up on this, so cool. We are keeping up, even though this is no longer, like, flying off the shelf. We eventually will have a backlog, and we'll eventually put enough science in here. Now, we're not using the green science yet, so once we're using it, that'll be a different story, but... We are at least keeping up with all the demands of all of our machines right now. And then the electric lab will be done, then we won't need to use a burner lab. Um, and then we'll be able to use electric labs, making that more efficient. Everything's about to be more efficient, that's for sure. But this whole thing is, woof, bad. Like, really bad. And the problem is, is things need other things, and I didn't plan for those things. Needing the other things well enough. Right now I have two things that require gears that's this and that um, and I didn't quite think that part through and how these things are all dependent on each other and that's just not my strength so I think this is a good stopping point for the episode though because we've gone and automated quite a bit we are doing fine on all of our things nothing is backlogged nothing is slowing down um, we do have a little bit of a backlog here see this is not a once we start doing this we're no longer um, evenly distributing or going across the board so that's definitely causing a the left side here having to produce more um, and I mean it's keeping our lines loaded but it's it's definitely putting the co the gears are getting strained right now a little bit I'd like it to be a full line fully um, taken care of um, and maybe we'll at least put one more line in here it's not going to make a big difference because it's not the majority of what we need here, but let's just try. And I need a red inserter. And then we can do that. And boom. And now at the very least we'll be making one more copper plate than we were before. Uh, and that, that might cause a better situation here. Uh, it's not going to be great, but it'll be better. All right. So, yeah, this is a good stopping point for the episode. We've gone and now automated our next setup to get through the next few sciences. So we'll see you guys in a few uh, in a little bit. Um, what I'll do is in off camera, we'll just wait it out a little bit to get to our um, next stage of science, which is going to be the finishing this and then faster inserters, um, and then maybe even filter inserters. Well, and then we'll come back when we've got a few of these green science uh, things upgraded, such as these, and then we can maybe start reconfiguring. I, I hate to start reconfiguring, deconstruct, reconfigure, but like that's what we might do here, is we might reconfigure and, and all that, all of this again after the green science stuff is done so that we make an efficient green science, red science, and blue science, and all that stuff. Um, uh, speeding, you know, that way where it's more efficient, and we'll have more of the map explore, explored too at the time. I don't see any more iron just yet, but hopefully it'll happen soon. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. This is Chuck Thunder signing out. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.